shits, a great time to visit Wildlife World Zoo out on the west side of town. Right now, there's a lot of babies being born out there, including these abdom stork babies. And Christy joining us this morning to tell us all about these little guys. Good morning. Good morning. They're unusual, aren't they? <laughs> yes, these guys are very unusual. And what's funny is right before I started introducing the food, they're laying completely flat and yeah. motionless. And yeah. that's how they survive in the wild. When uh, they're not eating, they- They play dead? They do. Really? Yeah, they don't want to make a bunch of racket or noise. And that's... as adults, they're going to be about three feet tall, a little over two pounds, making them the smallest species of stork. Oh, really? Let's see if we can get, this guy was just laying down like that. We'll see if we can get him he to do that. He had a big meal before we oh. came. <laughs> so they, they get, they're going to be three feet tall. They're from Africa, and I was reading they're said to bring good luck, like rain. and. They are, so they really don't have to worry about people. So many animals in the wild, you know, people are their biggest threat. But everyone in Africa loves these guys because they're thought to bring good uh, good luck and rain. So they'll mm -hmm. even build nests on top of their houses and in their yards trying really? to attract them. And they're very social birds. They'll live in flocks anywhere from 10 birds as much as uh, 10,000 10, birds. 10,000. Gosh, that's, that is amazing. Why do they smell? <laughs> well, these guys, uh, storks in general will defecate on themselves to help them stay cool, use evaporative cooling, and uh, they're starting to get their adult <laughs> feathers in. So Does you that can... work? <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna give that a try. <laughs> you can see their feathers coming through. And as adults, they're a beautiful black. They are gonna have a very gorgeous purple and green sheen to their feathers. And around their eyes is gonna be blue and red. And with the very powerful beaks, they're gonna rip open those carcasses. Uh, the lack of feathers right around the beak are gonna help them stay clean, just like the vultures. I like the pink behind this little guy's head. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Uh, do they fly? They do. They so really? yeah, they're migratory birds. They uh, are very good at flying. Wow, three feet tall and they fly. That's amazing. Christy, thank you so much. Yes, thank you so you much for having us. You continue your streak of bringing, uh, <laughs> I guess we could say they're cute, cute yeah. little uh, guys in here. So it's been fun to see that. Thank you. All right, Gina, there you go. You get to follow animals.